Heavy metal horns up uh, to our uh, wonderful pal there, David. He put in this request, and we're doing the uh, the uh, electrifying tourniquet today. We've done them on the first listen before, Christian metal band, and he wants to send out a rest in peace to Ted Kirkpatrick, who passed away. Uh, and hopefully, in this bio, we will learn more about Ted Kirkpatrick and uh, and tourniquet and everything else that we have to do. Uh, the song we are doing today is "You Get What You Pray For." Uh, and so that's what we are doing here for David and his rest in peace to the fine Sir Ted Kirkpatrick uh, from the band. Uh, that song that we're doing it from, I want to say, is off their very first record. It's off of uh, Stop, uh, Stop the Bleeding. Yeah. So we're going to do that today. What we do here is we learn about the band and then we listen to the song for the very first time. Because you see, I have not heard this. Uh, I'm still learning more about the, uh, the, the Christian metal world because I thought there was maybe a handful of bands, maybe one or two or three that are going today, and I'm learning that uh, it was a, a vast network of bands. Now, some, most, didn't get very far uh, as far as the mainstream music uh, goes, uh, but uh, they've done quite well for themselves. So, we're going to learn about Tourniquet, then we're going to listen to that song, You Get What You Pray For. For David today. Here we go. Let's learn about him. Tourniquet. They got 15,027 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Do you know them? Can you guess them? Do you know who, what they are? Vanishing Lessons. 193,000 plays. I want to say that that's the one we've done. Psychosurgery we've also done too. In the second slot, Ark of Suffering. 188,000 pl uh, plays. Uh, where Moth and Rust dis dot dot dot. I don't know what that, uh, finished that for me. 166,000 plays. Psychosurgery, I know we've done that in some form or fashion. 168,000 plays. In fifth slot, Onward to Freedom. 171,000 plays. Now we're going to look into them albums and see what Ted and the boys have released over their illustrious careers as a band. And we are going all the way back for this song to the first record, I do believe, that came out in 1990 called Stop the Bleeding. Then you've got Psychosurgery, 1991. you got uh, Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance. Yes, we have done that. I remember that title. 1992, Vanishing Lessons. you got the collected works of, of the band. You've got Crawl to China. In a little robot to China, and I'm going to crawl to find you. 1997, Acoustic Archives. Uh, my, uh, microscopic View of a Telescopic... Realm, um, where moth and the rust destroy. That's what the, we were looking for there. That's an album. Uh, Tourniquet re recorded live. So they did some kind of a uh, 2012 antiseptic bloodbath. Ooh, Jesus. Onward to Freedom. Are these guys still going pretty much? Gazing at Medusa, 2018. 2019's The Epic Tracks, 2019. Uh, Psychosurgery Collector's Edition 2020, Pathogenic Ocular Dissonance 2020 uh, Redo, and The Slow Cosmic Voyage 2. They've been busy putting stuff out. Wisdom. The Slow Cosmic Voyage to Wisdom. So there you have that. Uh, now we're going to look into the related artists, and we're, we're going to know all these bands, and I bet you we've done the majority of them. Uh, Deliverance, yes, we've done them. Uh, Baron Cross, you bet. White Cross, you bet. Blood Good, you bet. Uh, Believer, I want to say we have, but I'm not sure. Mortification, you bet your sweet and juicies. Living Sacrifice, come on, honey, girlfriend, child, sister, child, you know we have. Uh, Vengeance Rising, you bet you we've done them. Uh, Savior Machine Bride, you bet we've done them. Oh boy, here's that band. Deuteronomium, Deuteronomium, we have done them. Narnia. That's, we haven't done any Narnia yet, but uh, there you have that. Uh, now we're going to get into that bio, and maybe this will tell us a little bit about Ted and the fellers, okay? There is no image of the band. I will hunt one down. Hopefully it'll have Ted in it, and he'll be saying, Shane, uh, thank you for all your, your goodness and your kindness, and, uh, and you're a great fellow, and we really think you're awesome. So get over here for a can of uh, Yoo-Hoo and a game of uh, uh, Kick the Can. Formed in Los Angeles in 1990, thrash metalist Tourniquet were a trio featuring members Luke Easter, vocals, Aaron Guerra, guitar vocal, and Ted Kirkpatrick, drums, the latter of whom also doubled as the group's main songwriter. Really? 
it, uh, it doesn't take long. Uh, it doesn't take long after hearing the group's music to find out their chief musical influence was Iron Maiden, which is especially evident in the galloping rhythms and challenging song structures, as well as the thought-provoking lyrics. But Tourniquet were not your average metal band, and they were known to deconstruct their tunes and play unplugged shows while receiving favorable press from such publications as Modern Drummer, Guitar for the Practicing Musician, and Guitar Player, the band released, uh, releases includes 1990's Stop the Bleeding, and we've been through all that. Uh, drummer and songwriter Ted Kirkpatrick died on August 19, 2022, at the age of 62. Someone must have just added that. I can't imagine that uh, three weeks ago that would have been there. Uh, or this guy, Greg Prato, needs to get a crystal ball and start working, uh, uh, you know, if he, if he can guess uh, deaths. So he was the drummer and he was also the main songwriter for the band. I know a little something about that because I was always kind of nosy and bossy uh, writing songs with my bands. I'd always go, nah, change that riff. Or uh, I'd write on a bass and then bring riffs in and say, hey, try this out. And they go, well, he, he'll beat us up if we don't do it. So they did it. Um, and that was the way I did it, too. I said, look, you, you're getting a punch to the face if you don't use the riff. I said, let's use the riff. I, 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 I jammed with very small people, very thin, frail, small people. That's, that's what I like to do. It is that time. We're going to get into this here, right here, right now for David. Rest in peace, Ted Kirkpatrick. Um, see, uh, people say, why does he talk so much and shit? Well, we just learned about it. Ted Kirkpatrick was the main songwriter and he was the drummer. So there you have that. This is the magic tool takes us into the world of Tourniquet and their song, You Get What You Pray For. Thrashy, uh, Iron Maiden loving Tourniquet here. So let's do it. A lot of people love Tourniquet. This, watch this channel. Here we go. All of a sudden. Solo right out of the gate. And they're a trio. Let us pray. All of the answers are found in the work. Let us pray. Yeah, this sounds like it was all recorded in the same room together. Pretty, pretty tight for a three-piece, if you ask me.
I always thought that chunky rip with the steady double bass going back there. Red hot, yeah. That bow, 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 kind of kind of sounded a bit Van Halen-y to me, which would make sense. What's this? Yeah, there's that double bass coming in again. Swarming spirits. I like that. Yeah. You know, and um, um. There's, there was a band that did, did a lot of that. No, it's, it's hard to describe, but if you would have heard that uh, that song that was popping on there, uh, and this would be a band that's on the uh, on the deep and dark and, and devilish side of things, but Morbid Angel, they did a lot of that. Noted kind of styles in their early records and stuff, but I wouldn't imagine that anyone from the tourniquet people would say I'm familiar with Morbid Angel unless you're just an, an, an overall death metal thrash metal fan and you're like I don't care if it's if it's uh, Christian or not Christian or whatever, which there's plenty of those people. I am one of those people, you know I can listen to a satanic a black metal song and then I can turn around and listen to some tourniquet Have no issues in the world about that But what say you most important part of my videos as always is where you Get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think of Tourniquet, what you think of the song. Get what you pray for and what you think of uh, Ted Kirkpatrick. And what you think of David for that for that matter because he's the one that put in a request. Um, good, great, fantastic Shane. I'm a huge fan of Tourniquet. I am one of those fellows that gets down in the comments all the time and is talking about Tourniquet songs that you need to do on the channel. And you never reply to me, God damn it. Um, all-time favorite tourniquet songs, all-time favorite album. If you said hands down, this is the one album that I want, I want uh, uh, to take with me into the coffin. Uh, this is the record for me. Uh, or all-time favorite songs. Have you ever seen Tourniquet live? I'd love to hear those stories about seeing them back in the day. Uh, are they still going at it? How are they doing? Are they doing it well? Can you say hello for me if they st still, in fact, are at it? And maybe we should check out some brand spanking new tourniquet at some point on this channel. Or you could say, not good, not great. Let us pray. No, Shane. Come on now. That was an okay jam, but there was nothing too spectacular about it. The songwriting was solid enough. Uh, the singer's voice was okay. I give him all the props in the world and rest in peace to Ted. But uh, this is just not the kind of music that I would listen to. It didn't get the ass clapping or the toes tapping. It's just something I wouldn't listen to on the regular. So not my cup of tea. Don't want it. Don't need it. I'm out of here. All of that. Can be put in the comments below, don't you know you find it fantastic. Frosty friends of mine. If you have a hard rock heavy metal special request, you know what to do. You know what to do. Hit one of them links in the description below, or you can always put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments and I see your request there, I like it. We haven't done it on the channel. I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request for you, okay? Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Mm.